I had a dream. I was only 20 at the time, but I remember it well. It was a woman standing at the back of a long line of women who were walking slowly, softly, sedately, in step, playing a drum. I didn't know the significance of this, but okay. In my 30s, I finally arrived in Cyprus from Kenya. And it is here in Cyprus that I first picked up the frame drum. And together with a group of women, we learned how to play the drum. Another 10 years go by, and in 2009, I'm in my 40s, and I find myself at the back of a line of women walking away slowly, softly, from the Temple of Aphrodite in Kukia. And uh, we were effectively walking in the footsteps of ancient drummers. What? What were you doing there? I'll tell you why. It was the spring equinox, the time when there's equal day and night. And we were drumming. We did a celebration to the spring, to the new cycles, to the new starts in life, to new beginnings. We were drumming for our connection to the sun, honoring the moon, the tides, the connection to the earth, everything. But what was most significant about this event was that it was the first time, and I get quite emotional here, the first time in 1,000, over 1,000 years, maybe even 1,500 years, that a group of women drummers had drummed in honor of spring. You can say, why? What, what's so important about this? Well, in antiquity, in the past, for thousands of years, did you know that it was the women who were the drummers? The women who were the guardians and keepers of the drum. The women who, with the sound of the drum, helped cleanse, heal, Connect, clear. So that was important for me. It was basically patriarchy who had decided to silence the women. No dancing, no singing, no playing an instrument. But things have changed. The pendulum has changed and it's now time for women to pick up the drum again, to claim this heritage that we have had for thousands of years. And this is all supported as well by archeological artifacts that have been found. And particularly in Cyprus, over thousands of women frame drummers one thing I forgot to tell my props guy to do. More of these figurines were found per kilometer of land than anywhere else in the Mediterranean. So this was a center for drumming. So in order to pick up the drum, what can we say about this drum? It comes from Winoin which was again a women's uh, job. So it's basically frame drum because the skin is stretched over a frame. Sometimes you've got ornaments like the jingles or uh, <coughs> little metal, metal ornaments. It was played with two hands. So you're activating two halves of the brain. Not like the, sh the shaman, they hold it here and they beat it just with one 
uh, one hand, two hands in here. But for me, the most important thing is, is how it's held and where it's held at heart level. Because even if I play the big drum seated, I'm playing it at heart level. And what that means, the feelings of the drummer are magnified by the drum. And equally, the sound that vibrates from the drum goes into the drummer. So you've got a beautiful thing of coming out and coming back, and out and coming back, like an infinity symbol. Did you know that the first sound of the drum that you heard, all of you, was when you were in your mother's womb? It's her heart beat. The heart comes in again. The blood going. But learning to play the drum. <laughs> That is another matter. Oh my goodness gracious me. We had to learn a step. We clapped a double time. We was, had to say the rhythm. We had to learn how to, how to play the drum, obviously. The strokes all combine and walk and walk in time and, and drum. And it's, oh my goodness, no. <laughs> and I've got dyslexia on top of that. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I can say, what I would say to my younger self is, enjoy the journey. And the other piece of advice that I really feel is great from my mentor, which was, use your three Ps. Do you know what they said? Practice, patience, perseverance. And if you bring that into your life and take action and use that as well, it will help you get to your goals. So, fellow Toastmasters, honoured guests, tonight I shared with you when I picked up the frame drum and why, and how Cyprus is important to the drumming world. That the women in ancient times were the drummers, they were the ones. And it's time for the modern women to step forward and reclaim this heritage with dignity again. And the other thing, which I think is really vital, is that we bring back the beat, the heartbeat. And simply because when you give out from the heart, you, only, you not only help your country, your community, your town you're in, but yourself. Simply by holding the drum here by your heart. You are magnifying out what you're sending out. Thank you for coming on this journey with me and walking briefly in the footsteps of ancient drummers. <laughs>